Welcome back to another episode of I Never Liked You with Mateo Lane and Nick Smith. And today we're discussing gay icons. So me. Oh, wait. I'd like to say your shirt is great. My shirt is a gay icon. <laughs> your shirt looks like my Nana's China. Well, your Nana has great taste. What she kind of does. I got a private tour of the White House and it was very reminiscent of my Nana. Everything was like red, red carpeting and then China you can't touch. Okay. Well, your Nana and I would get along swimmingly then. You would. She thinks you're funny. She watches all your videos. My Nana would be a great guy. Does she icon. think I'm funnier than you? Um, pr- no. She loves me a lot more than she loves you. But my Nana would be a great gay icon. She sits at home in her house coat. She watches uh, Judge Judy, but she knows all celebrity gossip. So she's 87. She reads every magazine. When Anna Nicole Smith died, I got an emergency phone call from my Nana. I picked up and said, what happened? She goes, Anna Nicole Smith died. I'm calling your cousin Kelly. And she hung up. So she knows everything. And we're like, she how do you... She and I would get along very oh, well. Oh, she could talk to you about... Her favorite show is My Thousand Pound Sister. Or The no, Thousand the... Pound Twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her favorite show. That and 90 Day Fiance. She could watch hours and hours and hours she loves those shows she can't get enough and then my cousin kelly got a cameo from one of the thousand pound sisters to tell my nana that my cousin kelly was pregnant are they gay icons yeah i think anything like okay i guess i should describe what is a gay icon i think that's what makes it so interesting is we were trying to talk about it to our straight friends and we were saying there's almost no rhyme or reason and it just runs a gamut of people. Like you Barefoot can have Contessa, like, Miss Piggy, Maleficent, Patty LaBelle. Right. It's just like, usually it's women. Usually. Yeah. Sometimes you can sprinkle in like Elton John. Right. Uh, RuPaul. RuPaul. Well, drag queens, you know, they're, they're now like, but usually yeah. it's women and a lot of times it can be like sort of tragic women in yep. some way. Eccentric women. Eccentric. So like, you know. Flamboyant, uh, flamboyant. women. Flamboyant. I think about like Patty the Bell rolling around the stage. Her wig he throws her heels off, rolls around the stage. I don't know. Just but also like, like strong, dominant women. So like growing up, if you watched WWE, like uh, China, the wrestler. If you watched or, Hercules, the, the Xena warrior princess. Mm-hmm. Meg from Hercules. Basically all the Disney princesses. Yeah, and but no, the, the more the villains. Not so much Meg. I would, she wouldn't be up there with like Maleficent, Ursula, Jafar. Yeah. Um, the queen from Snow White. These sort of like... Villains. Yeah, villains. I mean, villains are... I know they're like queer coded, but I mean, there's not much coding. It's pretty obvious. I wish for Princess Jasmine to fall desperately in love with me. Like, girl, we've all had that wish. But... Uh, and then pop stars are always, well, let's just, let's, let's narrow it down to like pop stars. So let's just say like, what are the gay icon pop stars of the past? I mean, it's clear like Celine, Whitney, Barbara, Liza, Judy, Cher, Patty. I think it's like Beyonce is one, but she's not as, um, like if I think of someone like Mariah, for example, like Mariah is a perfect gay icon because she's supremely talented, but then also living in her own world and there's a i think gay icons are there's like a laughing with but enjoying at the same time so 100%. like we can make a joke but should anyone make a joke about that person we will cut them up so you know but beyonce is almost so perfect she's yeah. a she's a gay icon in like a real aspirational sense right whereas i think someone she's like, just like an icon across the board but then honestly like the, the, vanessa hutchins and the princess switch like that's that's a gay icon well to us to us well to anyone who any ashley gay that tisdale would watch that, in her early red carpet days which we'll be discussing in a future episode gay but icon. like starting with the most classic gay icon is judy garland my mother yes. or mary um no did Mary just lie? Right. She convinced her husband she got pregnant from by God. God. And then, yeah. The and whole... made him take care of the baby. That's a gay icon. <laughs> yeah, she. you're right. She lied. She followed through the lie. She followed through with that lie. And has not swayed from that lie since. Did she gaslight everybody in her her life then? That is Mary's in the Bible. That is her mantra. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> <laughs> also, the other That's Mary came was from. a gay icon too. You know, she was a prostitute and she's hanging From on. Selling Sunset? Do you know? No. What? Mary Magdalene. Oh, also a gay icon. Do you know Mary Magdalene? The whore. The whore. You know, I don't know if the Bible quotes it as whore. It I didn't? think she's just like a the, like known as like uh, a lady of the streets. 
A Lady of the Night? No, that's The Queen of the Night by Whitney Houston, which is also... That movie is a gay icon, by the way. Let me just say this. I love Whitney Houston. Uh, Undoubtedly, probably, arguably, the greatest singer to ever live. Whitney Houston is a rare talent on top of the fact that she is so beautiful. It is a combination. Just there's there'll never be anything like it again. She is an awful actress. <laughs> she is not a good actress. I don't care about waiting to exhale. I don't care. Like the preacher's wife is one of my favorite movies of all times. There is I don't know what her acting coach told her, but there, she's doing a lot of whispering and like if my voice goes high, that means I'm acting. She should, she should not have acted. She should not have. And so The Queen of the Night comes from a movie called The Bodyguard, which I don't know if her character had. I don't even know if she knew there was cameras on her. I think that at the end of it, they're like, we made a movie. She's like, when? They're like, you, it doesn't matter, Whitney. You know, Kevin Costner, who has been married, has said that Whitney Houston was his greatest love of all time. Did he just, said that did he, while married? Yeah, but he just. Could you imagine your husband saying that about someone else while you're married? Well, did My he greatest just go through her discography her. and be like, "Oh, that's a song she sang, the greatest love of all." I guess who knows? So, who other than the Virgin Mary do you think was the first person that the gays were like, "You better work." Well, I have a joke, the magic mirror in Snow White. That is just like Andy Cohen in a mirror. Just like sure, the first sure. iteration of Real Housewives. Like just sort of like for no reason besides entertainment, pitting women against each other. So, you know, like the queen was like, oh, like who's the fairest of them all? And he was bored. And he's just like, that bitch, get her. You know, just like, I mean, like he went really far. He could have cut it off. Like he could have saved Snow White because the queen's like, here's the heart of the Snow White. He goes, it's the heart of a pig. Go back and kill her. Like, he was the villain in that movie. Gaslit, the queen, lied. So, probably him. Okay. I'm trying to think. You know the Drag Race Challenge on All Stars 2 where there are all those historic women who are basically all gay icons? Okay, Queen Elizabeth II or whatever, the one, you know, the famous queen. Come on, the way she looked, she put, like, white lead on her face or whatever to make her face. Oh, no, Queen Elizabeth II is the one that, like, just died. Queen Elizabeth I? Isn't there, like, a third... I'm thinking, I'm thinking King Richard. I don't know history. Eve? The, the, the Queen Elizabeth, the original one from like 14, right. 1500, whatever the fuck year she lived. Eve. Catherine the Great. Eve. Is Eve she a She fucked a horse. Icon? Nothing's gayer than that. Um, did Noah have a wife? Noah. Noah with the flood. That dumb story where they brought two of every animal. And I don't it, know. Did Noah Who have, was his second? That's what I'm saying. Did Noah have... What is that story? Is he gay? Here's the moral of that story. God's like, wow, the people that I created are all having fun doing doing things with what I gave them to create. So instead of teaching them a lesson, I'm going to murder all of them. And then we'll just start anew. And look what came of it. So <laughs> Trash. <laughs> yeah. God this. needs to go back to the drawing board. God needs to go back to the drawing board a long time ago. Wait, did Noah, Noah did have a wife, right, Chris? It says Noah. Noah and his three sons. Did he get pregnant by God too? (laughs) So she had to come on board. But so we're all incest because if that's the... Everyone back then was incest. Yeah, well, royal families were for sure. So who was the first like gay pop icon? Judy Garland. You think Judy? I think so too. I think that's like proven. Judy was the first like, you know gays would like come out in droves to come see her and yeah yeah so, so Judy or Garland. what's her name uh that reese witherspoon played her in the oscars Liza? no but she walked Lorna the line Luft. walked the line but who was it and she was married to that guy reese witherspoon won the oscar for it um the movies walked the line her husband is also a singer Apparently not a gay icon because I can't remember it. I was gonna say we don't know who she is, but then the, also there's like there's gay icons Johnny like Cash. Johnny Cash, but his wife. She's not a gay icon. Who was the who's his wife? Who was his wife? Poor Chris. Now Chris is like put to work. Chris is our secretary over there. Mrs. Cash. Um. <laughs> okay. No, I would say like Dolly Parton is a really g- oh. great gay icon. Mm-hmm. 
June Carter Cash. I'm not bigger than fucking Judy Garland. No. Also, completely different time eras. Johnny Cash was years after Judy Garland. Really? Yes, Judy. I don't, what? You know, I don't have good Judy Garland sense was of doing time. MGM with uh, Mickey uh, Rooney in like the late 30s. The Wizard of Oz was 19. The one that did the bad facelift. The Wizard. Of, no, that's Mickey Rourke. Uh, Mickey Rooney is, you know, Mickey Rooney, right? He was in, have you seen Pete's dragon of all the movies? No. Boys town. No. Um, he's like, he's five foot one, four, 11, four, three, nine, four, oh, two, five. Oh yeah. Okay. okay yeah. Okay. And he's like old school. I sing. I mm-hmm, but, um, mm-hmm. they were making movies in the 1930. When do you think the wizard of Oz was made? <laughs> what year do you think the wizard of what, around what time? Do you think it, it was, was after 1900, right? Do, when do you think <laughs> film was made? <laughs> Nick, when do you think movies were... Well, they have documentaries about the world wars. When? No, hold on. Don't say anything. When do you think... World War II was? When do you think World War II was? Do you think... In the 1800s? That's not right. So you think they had the power? It wasn't in the 1900s. You think, no, hold on a second. You think in the 1800s that they had the power to make an atomic bomb and send it. Oh, the atomic bomb was World War II. So that was what, like 1920? Do you know about like the crash of the stock market? Do you understand like when... What do you? What year do you think? When did film become a thing? Well, it wasn't the 1800s, Nick. <laughs> so when was Wizard of Oz? Because they were still Oz. riding horses. I thought in we the just 1800s. celebrated the like the hundred year anniversary of Wizard of Oz. And what year do you, we did not? It's not been a hundred years. You don't know anything. Joan of Arc's a gay icon. <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting out of this. When do you think the Wright brothers made the first plane? The 1800s. When do you think the Titanic was? The 1900s. But what time? The 20s. No, they had those big skirts. So maybe like 1908. Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. You were going back to Columbus <laughs> to 1492. 1776, America became a country. Was this a song? So, so in 1776, the Titanic had to have been the early 1900s. The Titanic. Yeah. Yeah. 1908. Teen. 28. 38. So 1939 is when The Wizard of Oz was made. What? 1939. We're almost at its hundred. Is that crazy? So 1939. So when, let's see when the first. The Wicked Witch of the West is a gay icon. Now, come on now. (laughs) When do you think World War II was? Give me a year. Because it was like. Was it before or after that? Why don't you tell us? It had to have been before. You mean to tell me they made The Wizard of Oz and the world's decided to still go to war? No, it was before that. Was it? Was it? You don't know. It was the same time. Well, no wonder it was a war. World War II was they starting the up movie. Mid, in the mid-1930s is when everything started developing. And by the 1940s, early 1940s, we this, were at a full The Wizard of Oz came out during the war? That was America's answer? Well, I don't know if we were directly involved yet because we hadn't, we hadn't been bombed by Pearl Harbor, but Hitler had already started working his way through Europe, and we were trying not to get involved. Wow. I just assumed it would have been before that. Yeah, really, when, really makes you think. When was the? F- <laughs> you don't think at all is what's going on. Well, the on first here. world war had to have been in the 1800s. Then, a hundred years before that, so what? 1839. Archduke Ferdinand. Oh wow! Hey now, hey now. <laughs> 
Lizzie McGuire, gay icon. Gay icon. We should have done an entire... The next episode should just be historical facts and seeing this what is the Nick history Smith channel knows. I bet the History Channel watching this is going to want to sponsor When do you think the episode. car was invented? The car? Well, I know that Volkswagen provided cars to the Nazis. I watched a documentary on that. So and they you don't remember a, them mentioning in the late 1930s that there was a world war happening? Well, they... Saved by the goddamn bell. She's also a gay icon, too. I'm so excited. 1914, Nick. Was what? World War One. But when did films? Anyways, thank you for watching and listening to another episode of our podcast. Please leave a review, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.